last week we talked about how Satoshi Nakamoto's email was hacked and a hacker was basically putting up putting it up for ransom trying to collect bitcoins and then once he collects a certain amount he'll reveal the documents of Satoshi Nakamoto well Roger Veer it's pronounced Veer thank you uh, YouTube commenter for correcting me on that uh, Roger Is Veer Veer not, not Veer yeah yeah that, um, hmm. apparently it's it's Veer so it's kind of a kind of a weird way to pronounce it but hey you know want to be correct yeah. um you know veer basically has set up a anonymous bitcoin bounty service uh where you know people can put bounties on the potential arrest and capture of you know criminals in the in the cryptocurrency space or i mean not even limited to that anything if you want to catch someone, you can place a reward on it. And if they do get caught and do get arrested, and I think they even have to be convicted as, as well for this to be like a successful catch, then, you know, um, the people who led to that capture and arrest will get a Bitcoin reward. And right now there's a 37 Bitcoin reward um, for the guy who tried to hack Roger Veer himself. And... Um, and apparently it's the same hacker who who hacked Roger Veer and Satoshi Nagamoto. Um, there's been evidence showing that it's the same hacker. So, like, on that one guy, or possibly even a group of hackers, on their head is 37 bitcoins. And if someone can provide some kind of information leading to, uh, you know, their eventual arrest and conviction for their crimes, in traditional... Uh, courts in, in actual, you know, legal jurisdiction in the United States, I assume, um, then the people who led to that can get 37 Bitcoins. Uh, Which is... damn good. $14,587. All right, yeah, that's pretty nice. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool, but I think vigilante justice would be way cooler. It's just my personal opinion. Yeah, I mean, with, I mean, with that, yeah. that would be interesting. But with that, you open a whole big a can of worms. Like people can start putting bounties on on the heads of people they don't like, or someone who like fucked them over in, um, in the market, or you know. Yeah, well, I mean, like obviously, that. it would have to be modification process. Uh, but I mean, on like, to be a little bit more serious about it. Is there really that much uh, crime, for lack of a better word, like hacking? Is is that really s such a big issue that you have to put bounties out for people? I like, think the so. Only, yeah. Like, really, like big time hackers. It do it happens all the time. I mean, you you just hear about the most high profile ones in the media, um, like when the celebrities were hacked and had their nude pictures leaked. Um, I'm sure that someone would be willing to put a bounty on that hacker's head as well. And that's just the most high profile ones. Like, um, you know, then there's other random cases where people hack into, you know, exchanges. Uh, we talked uh, a few weeks ago about how Mint Pal was hacked and people stole a bunch of Veracoin. So, you know, that person... People want to catch that guy. Uh, you know, darknet markets get hacked sometimes. Um, they they have to deal with, like, DDoS attacks on a regular basis, and then sometimes people actually try and steal the actual money on the markets themselves. So, like, there's... Uh, hacking is a pretty big... Uh, pretty big... Like I, I don't I don't know if I would call it like an industry or a market or, or what it is, but like there's a lot of people who do hacking. It's popular, yeah. Yeah. And there's people who don't like that, you know, and there's people who want to prevent that and try and catch those people. And this is an interesting develop development to yeah, see if people be, can do that you know, with more incentive. Might not be a might end up being a viable service. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I think that, um, you know, there's been, like, bounty services on the Darknet for a while. Like, I think I haven't been to them myself. I haven't looked at them myself, but I've heard, I've read, you know, news articles that talk about 
in addition to the drug markets on the dark net, you know, there's assassination markets as well. Mm -hmm. And I would have no doubt that there's bounty markets on the dark net as well. Roger Veer has just merely created um, one that's on the clear net um, that, you know, is unregulated as far as I can tell right now, but it's on the clear net, it's open, and, you know, they, they discourage vigilantism because that's a pretty big can of worms, legal can of worms that they don't necessarily want to open. But um, now this one's totally on the clear net and, you know, trying to provide more incentive for people to fight back against hackers. Because once, once, yeah. once a hacker is successful and steals whatever information they were trying to get, like, that, like, that suddenly have a huge amount of power over the person they stole from, um, and yeah, it's 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 immoral from from like a traditional point of view, and people want to try and prevent that. It's it's not it's not cool, basically, and providing yeah. monetary incentive to catch them um, can often provide uh, a necessary service where traditional law enforcement previously failed to, to catch them. Yeah, 37 Bitcoins is a pretty big incentive 